Hey guys, it's Matthew here once again, and I wanted to give a bit of an update video on the um, character I've been playing, which is the starter from my video of Spectral Helix Raider, and also just a quick update on all the other starters from my uh, starter video as well. So before I get into mine, I'll just go over those real quick. As far as I can tell, uh, Cyclone Chieftain and everyone that's picked it, pretty happy with it so far. Nothing to really... Um, fix or mention or anything it's just you know overall still a pretty solid build a little bit weaker than it used to be i think but um no real complaints that i've heard of poisonous concoction pathfinder is a pretty damn good build um i'm not too sure about its end game potential yet but from what i've seen uh with plague bearer especially um once you start getting to your extra projectiles and get your poison ramping and all that it's pretty solid and a very good way of scaling poison right now and then exsanguinate scion i do need to mention a few things um since currently the cold iron points that we're hoping to use are pretty expensive since they are very heavily used in the meta um, seismic trap and exsanguinate trap builds um, so the way of scaling damage with weapons that I've seen a lot of uh, confusion about is not through like generic attack weapons that have physical damage on them you need spells uh, spell scaling it is a spell itself so you need spell damage physical damage over time and some car speed would go a long way too so some ones that have um, things like that or some plus one to physical um, skills and then some spell damage car speed is going to be your best bet and you can help um, craft them with the crafting bench for some uh, physical damage over time multi as well otherwise exsanguinate should be going pretty good for you um, using chain once you get to level 38 helps a lot and as well as that unleash if you want to incorporate that into your links for um, clear should help quite a lot too uh, just for much bigger thicker clear and uh, after you take the gladiator ascendancy you can path down to um, the raider area before you actually get the labs and then just respec it a bit later uh, once you finally get the labs and start over in the uh, ranger area next time hopefully that all makes sense as for this character spectral helix it is very very similar to um, my attempt on ssf hc last league but a bit more soft coreized uh, and it's feeling pretty damn good uh, i'm pretty happy with how it's going i'm still only in like white to yellow maps so nothing too um, risky uh, but off of a very humble setup of you know like 20 c worth of gear at, in total at this point uh, the dps is pretty good i'd say we're probably at around four or five hundred k deeps and um, nothing's really posing any sort of threat at this level at all and i've been using wasp nests uh, which are very physical based claws but the important thing about them is that they have a lot of crit and attack speed and some accuracy and uh, basically they cost one elk so that's why i was using those and uh, have been incorporating some tornado action into the single target still really hard to tell if it's doing anything but some of the tornado try and blast a few um, attacks into it and then if it actually starts attacking things it should get some extra assistance to the single target it can be used for power charge on crit or for a curse on hit so keep that in mind too um, otherwise the main links that i'm using for damage are added lightning and added cold then i've got trinity and nightblade going in as well a lot of the time i wasn't using trinity because it wasn't balanced for my character yet but now that it does work it should um, be incorporated and i'm also using anger for an aura um, since things just kind of work out there um, so yeah i'll just dive into real quick what the character looks like gear wise and uh, wrap up there so real quick hopefully um like I said, been using Wasp Nest uh, the entire time. Uh, not even quality because the physical damage on them isn't too important. Uh, just crit, some attack speed, and some accuracy. I uh, did just pick up a new weapon though for like 5 chaos or some shit like that. Uh, that's also got crit attack speed, a little bit of crit multi, a little bit of early damage. So something like this is basically the ideal claw in the end, um, but with much better stats. And um, ideally a spare prefix to craft... Um, attacks penetrate um, elemental resistances from the bench um, otherwise i grabbed a rat's nest um, and uh, just doing it because you know it's fun 
to use a rat's nest, but by all means, I think a star conjure is a much smarter play because you can get up to a hundred life on it. And then um, been using some, uh, you know, new league mechanic corruptions on it. Got a decent result of extra um, cold resist, but there's plenty of other things we could go for. I was happy with the cold resist. And then a lab gave me Herald of Ice um, Enchant as well. Uh, as well as that, I have been doing lots of Dark Ray Vector Corrupts, and um, there's lots of decent results there too. Uh, 34 life is the best I've got so far, and I'm running these boots because um, I think we can get away with even less life now that we've got a lot of Evasion and um, Spell Suppress. So I'm running like lower life version of the build, but um, you really don't have to do that. You can go to higher life values, especially if you're getting into like yellow and red tier maps. But at this point of the game, with my fucking shitty budget and everything, it's completely fine. And I'm happy to sit at this life total. Uh, Belt just does some resists. Ideally, we're getting like a Stygian Vise that has, you know, 90 life, a bit of strength. And then you can put an Accuracy Gem in there as well. Um, gloves, just a little bit of um, life and um, attack speed and stuff. And then um, an Amulet that does some stats because we do need some strength and some Int. Uh, crit multi is the important thing there and then trying to get a little bit of resists and int on um, and some stats on the other rings too. Uh, just grabbed a basic chest five link and um, or turned it into a five link with the harvest and then it's just got a bit of resist. So nothing special going on with the gear at all uh, but the content we're doing isn't very thick. Nightblade, added cold, added lightning, trinity and spectral helix. You can do awakened versions of these gems, which will be a lot bigger. You can do ice bite at level 21. You can incorporate a sixth link of like inspiration um, or early damage with attacks. Um, there's a lot still to still do and um, upgrade in the character, but at DPS so far, I think is pretty good. Running a uh, silver flask, a diamond flask, um, quicksilver, and a mana flask just with basically nothing on it at the moment. Haven't really cared about that. It's uh, just strictly there to let me pre-fire bosses or situations that I need to attack lots of helixes onto um, before I can start leeching or anything. So with this shit, I've mostly been doing like Rat's Nest, Dark Rays, um, just then did another pair that got life, uh, but we can you know get some better results. Uh, for the most part, that's what I've been doing with this so far. And then some um, Scourge maps as well, which can get really dangerous, but uh, they can also be pretty damn rewarding. And as far as this is concerned, just put it wherever the fuck. You'll end up pretty much filling out the whole thing anyway, so I don't really have much advice as to what not to take. Um, honestly, I avoided armor item corruption uh, early on, but most of the things I've been doing is armor, so that was, you know, wrong, I guess. Um, as far as the passive tree is concerned, my first two ascendancy went there, then there, then here, then here. Once you get phasing, it starts to feel really good going through the league mechanic because you can just like run through everything um, and then lots of suppress and avoid and all that. And we got to 100% suppress and uh, it's pretty damn mandatory once you get to like higher levels of uh, corruption in your scourge because things hit pretty hard with their um, spell attacks. Uh, as far as masteries are concerned, I did go for knockback here. It hardly feels too necessary, but sometimes it feels useful uh, on bigger targets and some bosses and shit. Um, took the crit chance suppress, grabbed more proj speed, one offhand duel, a uh, bit of life. So everything I said I'd do basically. Um, otherwise, the only things that might be a bit different, grab the Nightblade effect. Uh, I leveled with life gain and mana gain on hit because it's a lot more potent at lower levels but then swapped into attack and life leech and then on this um, claw mastery i'll probably be grabbing blind enemies on crit in just a level um, and otherwise just picked up a jewel that does a little bit of damage but you can do better than that with some attack speed crit multi uh, and yeah, you can pick up more life if you need to but for now i think it's been totally fine and uh, i will start Prioritizing a bit more um, defense, I think, and re-gearing once um, I'm starting to progress into higher tier maps. For now, it's completely fine. We are running uh, almost capped res. My cold's a little shit at the moment. Um, decent evasion, 50% at the moment, and then having the blind is going to be a bit nicer, and spell suppress is um, pretty much capped there too. Um, not completely immune to ailments yet, but getting close. Um, as far as the stuff that I'm using, I'm currently using an ambush as just a gap closer because uh, with Spectral Helix, um, you know, positioning might be a bit weird. As soon as you use ambush, you'll be right on top of the target and ready to start attacking them. I might actually replace it with Flicker Strike just so I can do that. 
um, more often and quicker and a bit of a gap closer. Um, I've got links over here for Tornado, which are currently just to increase its area and increase duration. But honestly, if I had the right colors, I'd probably just grab a curse on hit, maybe a power charge on crit. Um, running a vile haste, very rarely using that. And uh, anger is my main reservation, then Herald of Ice, uh, running ambush. Um, Flame Dash, just for a bit of a gap closer as well. And then Welling Blades, Faster Attacks, Ancestral Protector, and Precision over here. Uh, I will probably maybe get an actual damage setup for the Ancestral Protector, because it'll probably actually help out on damage too. Uh, and Welling Blades, otherwise maybe a Blood Magic, something like that. I did try Fortify with it, and uh, it wasn't being kept up very often, but I might try it again uh, now that my character's a bit better on damage. That's all so far for the Spectral Helix, uh, my tier of maps, it's completely adequate and uh, doing good damage and life pull is very fine and it's a good playstyle and we'll see if we can take it a little bit further in the coming days. Hope you guys enjoyed the league, thank you very much for watching, see you next time.